that again, I'm too tired. What's going on guys? So, it is currently Thursday. We're out here at LAX again. Another day, another flight. TM, trademark. We're out here about to board this flight to New York City and I was like, you know what? I've been traveling too much. I gotta take care of myself. So your boy upgraded to the JetBlue Mint, which is like, if you guys watch Casey's video, he did the uh, upgrade video, but I'm not gonna make a whole like, like video about it. I'm just literally just doing it for my own personal benefit of just sleeping and resting and being comfortable for six hours on this flight or five hours. But anyway, New York City sneaker con. I'm not gonna waste too much time at the airport. Let's board this flight right now. It's gonna be a really crazy weekend. So, you got anything to say? Let's just say scoot on over. I'm gonna sleep with you. All right, let's see if this seat is worth the price upgrade. There's about five, six hundred dollars to upgrade this seat. You're trying to play your boy, but I still got it in. Guys, we just touched down in New York City. Are we at JFK? Yeah. We're at JFK? All right, we're at JFK right now. We already lost three hours because of the time difference. So first things first, we're gonna go to our hotel, check in, and then today's gonna be the only day where I do my like New York City shopping. I didn't wanna do another New York shopping, going to Soho and you know, showing all the sneaker stores just like everyone else has done in the past two, three sneaker con New York vlog life thingies i'm gonna just do that today for the most part i just need to go settle into the hotel get things rocking and then uh yeah man we're here fam what's your predictions for the hoops classic hoops classic I, there has to be some upsets in the first round and i'm taking team 100 for a, an upset over mac park damn team 100 over team mac park they don't have b dot for day one so they can they do have a chance what about every other matchup? I say we're gonna win. I think Kick Genius will win. I think Berwald Squad's gonna win. And then I think the underdogs, the Team 100, is gonna beat Mag Park. Mick, yeah. if you're watching this, sorry, but we, yeah. we feel an upset. It has to be one upset this time. Let's this just say we're betting parlay, no mocha. Alright guys, so we just got to New York City, finally man, shout out to the traffic that held us up for two hours. It is freaking cold, but let's just say we out here, you know what I'm saying? Where do we go now? We don't have any plans for today. Go to the pizza place. The pizza place? Yeah. This way. I'm not a New Yorker, but I know my New York street. So freaking cold. I have my jacket and stuff in my luggage, and I was just like, just hurry up and get to the hotel. Yeah. Where are you guys headed? Go up to the uh, we're gonna go eat. You wanna go eat, or you gotta settle in and everything? Yeah, I gotta settle in. I had to throw on the face mask one time. I can't take this coldness, bro. I was on board for it. Was it snowing in London too? Yeah, but it wasn't this cold. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what, what they got in the air over here. Usually, when we come to New York, there's one spot that we always go to. I honestly don't even know what it's called. I think it's called like Cravings, but it's a fire-ass pizza spot. I'm surprised you know where it is. Nah, yeah, I know this block up by heart. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> You're about to get hit by. <laughs> Loki, I got scared like halfway through. <laughs> I've been on the subway, but I haven't been on in years because I've always been against it because I just feel like it's scary. But they convinced me to take the subway today, Don't worry, so. I got your back. We got. Cha cha cha. <laughs> I guess we're gonna take the subway now, but we got. I didn't bring my Supreme Metro card, so. We gotta get regular Metro cards. We're gonna be basic today. Hey, well, I'm subscribed. Look, you got to too. Yeah. Sir, Who you what? Hey, Wait, shout out to my man, bro. Y'all coming to Secret Con or what? Nah, I'm kidding. Why, why not? I don't have tickets. I'll get you tickets. Tweet me. All right. All right. Yeah? I'll, tweet you. I'll send you tickets. Man, we out here with the New York crew. What's good? Yeah. Is that the W or no? Oh, I think, oh, <laughs> Alright guys, so we're on the subway right now 
and as we were about to get on, uh, we swiped our cards, and Chris's card didn't work. I didn't go through. I was like, you know what, just hop the thing, and he hopped it, and literally some guy walked up to us, and he pulled out his badge, and he said NYPD undercover, and we were like, what? And he's like, can I speak to you? And he's pulling. It was a joke, bro. Yeah. Like, it, was, it was crazy. He pulled him to the side, and then they asked him like hella questions. And then when we told him we're not from New York, then he's like, oh, okay, you guys are good to go. But low key, cameraman getting arrested in New York. Bro, it was scary, bro. But uh, yeah, we're on the subway now. It's actually really crowded. But um, what? It's like a 10 minute, 10 minute drive, 10 minute ride on the subway. We out here. We're New Yorkers now. We official. It's not as cold over here. Cause over there the buildings are closer, it's trapped. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I think we go this way. You sure, Fifth? No, I'm not sure. Let's go to Broadway. Anything look familiar to you? Bro I mean, I know Broadway. All right, let's go to Stadium Goods. I was here not too long ago, but honestly, I don't even know what shoes I'm wearing to sneaker con. So hopefully they have some fire here. For a size 10 too. Yo, I really, really want both of these. These are both fire. Even though these are probably gonna sit, I don't know actually if they're gonna sit, but I really, really want these. One of my dream shoes is here right now, the Macklemore 6. Bam! $20,000. From what I've heard, 10 and a half or 11 is the smallest size they made in that. Oh my god, they have them. But that's way too expensive, I can't pay that. Oh, they have it, bro. I'm, I'm cashing out today, I don't care. Consolation price for not being able to pay 20,000 for the Macklemore's. So I actually bought these off of GOAT, but they got delivered today and obviously I'm here, so I don't have them. The green Gatorade 6s, can you see if you have those in a 9.5 or a 10? Check them out, make sure you're All the green laces, bro. That's so fire. Have you ever been on sneaker shopping with Carl? Yeah, it's gonna be 407.90. Yeah, I really feel like I'm on sneaker shopping. Where's Joe when you need him? If you guys don't know, New York is one of, is my biggest audience. Um, if you go to my analytics on my Instagram and on my YouTube, New York City is the most popular out of like where my audience is from. So it's pretty dope. They always show love when we're out here. So much love. So hopefully a lot of people come to SneakerCon and uh, come watch us get that W in the Hoops Classic. You know the drill. Backpacks will be for sale. Private label backpacks. Blaze and Dairy Hoodie collab will be available only at SneakerCon and then it's done forever. And uh, yeah, now let's buy some stuff at Target. <laughs> you knock right here and then you always step like this way. So you gotta go like this. <laughs> My jeans are too big. Did I do it? Freaking Jet Blue, they broke my luggage. They demolished it. I had to bust it open to get it open, and then I tweeted them. They, they DM me, and they're like, oh, please call this number. Like, I could have Googled that. Even though Jet Blue, like, I upgraded. I told you guys how much I paid to upgrade on top of the price that it was already like a three, four hundred dollar flight. They told me to call a number and then I called the number and they said, oh, it's gonna take 10 days and we can only offer you $250. Bruh, what is this? Hashtag boycott JetBlue, even though I have JetBlue to get back home. But anyway, I have to buy a new luggage, man. All right, Kai sent me on a mission. I'm about to go mess with unknown vlogs. Oh, bro. Oh. oh. I'm a huge fan. Yo, what's, what's up? Good, I know vlogs right here. You feel me? We out, out here in New Times York City. Square. How is London, fam? Good, bro. Oh, we got the answer. Can you, can you, Nick? Can you like do the little? How much the outfit? Yeah. On me? Yeah. Okay, like we're in Times Square. What's good? Yeah. Shout out to everyone. Bro, I love you, bro. Can I give you a hug, bro? <laughs> yeah, oh my bro. god, bro. What? <laughs> That's crazy. <Just> a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, what? He's a cameraman. Oh my god! <laughs> oh hell, I was so what? I was like, wow, I have a cool fan out here. Ice Gang, what's up? I came my outfit, this is new, this is like free kit. No, it's... <laughs> nah, he still messes with you though. Self-esteem was... <laughs> no, but honestly, like I am a huge fan. I watch all your videos. Is it colder here? Or... Oh, it's so cold. 
It's cold. You're in London. Again. I've never, never been this cold. Bro, it hurts. It hurts me. My fingers, man. All right, guys. So we are in Times Square right now. You know what I'm saying? This is the, the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're here, it could be midnight, 1 a.m. With all these lights, you feel like it's broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? And one of my favorite, like one of my greatest memories in life was actually right here in Times Square, right by Great Mo uh, Good Morning America over there. I had a viral video a few years ago and Good Morning America reached out to me and they, 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 they flew me out to New York City literally the same day that they hit me up on my email and they said we want to fly you out to New York to be on the Good Morning America show. I'll do a flashback from that vlog right now. Alright, so here he goes. This is one ball to start. Go ahead, go. And go. Good. And then he'll just run back, we'll have balls over here, so then he'll come back, he'll do it again. And then, yeah, well, we'll get, I'll get kids on the other side going. We're at rehearsals right now, we're doing it outdoor, they got the cart set up right there. Cameras right in the middle of Times Square. This is so dope, man, and I'm just getting my dunks ready, getting my dunk face on, and we got the guys that are going to be dunking with me right here, so we all set to go. And every time I come back to New York and I go to that same exact spot, I think about that. And that was such a motivating time of my life. And it was just crazy to get that opportunity. So shout out to Good Morning America for putting me on there. And yes, I had Yeezy 2s on. You know what I'm saying? Yeezy 2s on Good Morning America. Yeah, man. We just out here, bro. Living life. Quick wrap up to end the vlog. We are in New York City and I'm back in my room now because I'm so freaking exhausted. How is it already 1 o'clock? I have already... I mean, I have no idea what I'm saying and I have no idea how it's one o'clock, but it is one o'clock and it's been a long, very long day. I'm not going to sit here and promote everything going on. You guys already know SneakerCon this weekend, the Hoops Classic 3 on 3 tournament, uh, private label backpacks, Dream Crew, crew Cut Protect shirts, um, Blazing Crew hoodies, they all drop SneakerCon New York. It's going to be crazy. The biggest SneakerCon of the year is always New York. It's absolutely insane. I want to show you guys my pickups from Stadium Goods. So yeah, we got the Kyries right here. And like I was telling you guys at Stadium Goods, hold on, I got to fix this lighting. What the Kyrie, man. This shoe is just beautiful. I really don't like that they put what the Kyrie right there. Like we know what it is. We didn't, we didn't need you guys to tell us that. This shoe is phenomenal. Okay, I love the Kyrie one the fact that they did the Kyrie one bottom right here with this little back um, I'm not sure exactly what they were calling this but like the, the, the diamond ridges or whatever and they did it in denim They put denim on a basketball shoe is freaking sick upper area right here is all from the Kyrie two and then the front of the shoe is the Kyrie 3. They just absolutely killed it. I wish there was a little bit difference between the two shoes because usually this shoe is different from this shoe, but I mean, it's still a very dope. Second pickup is Bam. When I first saw pictures of these, I, I needed to have them. I want to try to get these in every single colorway. I believe they're coming out in four different colorways. I love the theme. I love the concept. This is like a collector's item to me. Like there's certain sneakers that you just buy because they're dope shoes. And then there's sho certain shoes you buy because it's just a dope item, collector's item, like the story behind it. A modified Jordan 1 box. It's not the signature black and red. As you can see, it's an orange theme because Gatorade's colors are orange. Packaging is A1. B like Mike on the inside and then when I found out that it's that it comes with this is just like it's like the cherry on top you know what I'm saying the Gatorade MJ towel Jordan brand if you are watching this you guys killed it okay the Jordan 1 Gatorade in the orange colorway ah just a beautiful shoe beautiful butter shoe now this is obviously we got to go to the shattered backboard comparison leather on here is a one I don't think this, okay, if a shattered backboard quality is considered a 10, this is a 9.5. It is a 9.5, I'm saying it now. Usually with Jordan 1s, they'll give you that shattered backboard leather. They'll give it to you right here. They'll maybe give it to you on the toe, but then they, they'll leave it out on certain parts of the shoe. For this shoe, they gave you that good leather throughout the whole shoe. You got the translucent midsole. I know it doesn't look translucent from this angle, but when I turn it down this way, 
You see that Gatorade. You see that Gatorade right there, bruh. Oh my God. Now, obviously, when you wear the shoe, it's gonna get a little bit dirty, so you're not gonna be able to see that too much, but fresh out the box, they look so sick with that Gatorade logo on the bottom, man. And then you got the Gatorade Thunderbolt right there. The Gatorade Thunderbolt, I will admit it, on this colorway, it doesn't look good because it's the same color as the rest of the shoe, but on the blue pair, it just pops. Just having that little Thunderbolt right there, Pop. So yeah, those were my two pickups for day one out here in SneakerCon. I'm pretty sure I'll be picking up some more sneakers. If you are new to this channel for some reason and you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe and join the crew. We are giving away 10 pairs of brand new Yeezys when we reach 1 million subscribers. So please help us reach 1 million subscribers and subscribe right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow a thousand percent with a new video because we out here in New York so things just getting lit and lit, litter, litter, litter and litter, litter. Uh, yeah, we out of here, dream crew. I'm tired as hell and now I gotta go edit this vlog, so. Hello.